the hashing suppose we have to set s1 and s2 where the data are 12 13 14 so 12 modulo 10 we can store here 12 13 modulo 10 for this 3 we can store here okay so 12 modulo 10 it is 2 13 modulo 10 it is 3 14 modulo 10 we can store here similarly 22 okay, 22 modulo 10 it is 2 store here 13 modulo 10 3 you can store here 24 modulo 10 you can store here now suppose we want to apply the union okay suppose s is equal to s union s2 so we can create one s where 0 1 2 3 4 from here okay so starting of data is 12 so first we have to we can store 12 here okay uh, so first of all you just store all the data from s1 okay now check first data is 22 now 22 modulo 10 it is 2 just check first this particular data it is not match so you just store 22 here next is 13 now 13 modulo 10 it is 3 so compare this 3 with 13 with 3 it is match no need to insert the same data because uh, after union the set should contain the distinct data now 24 24 modulo 10 it is 4 compare this 14 okay and it is not match so we can store 24 here now suppose s1 s is equal to s1 intersect s2 that we want to now similarly we can do we can perform the same operation suppose say this is s 0 1 2 3 4 now compare 22 starting with 22 22 with so compare the data now just take some more data suppose 22 and 12 now here 13 and 33 okay 24 54 64 some more data are there now first compare with these 22 now 22 modulo 10 it is 2 now compare this to 12 it is not match so neither take 22 neither take 12 okay next 21 say 12 is there so compare 12 uh, 12 modulo 10 it is 2 now check this one so 12 with 2 now compare this two they are same so if it is same then take the data next suppose we just some more data there here say um, in this case suppose 93 is also there okay and here 54 is there 74 is there now starting with this 13 take, take this particular data 13 and compare all the data now 13 is there check all the data 13 is there so take 13 here next 33 check all the data but 33 is not there so don't take this one okay now 24 compare check all the data 24 is not there now 54 54 is not there 64 64 is not there so the answer is intersection answer is this one now next is uh, difference suppose s is equal to s1 minus s2 okay now what you can do first of all we have to create the this one okay so the first of all create s intersect s2 okay and and say it is temporary 
see it is on temporary and from s1 suppose s1 is equal to s1 is equal to s1 subtraction s2 so from s1 0 1 2 3 4 from s1 just remove 12 okay then 13 remove 13 so the remaining data is what only 96 should be there and here remove okay so no more com common thing is there you just keep the remaining data so 14 and 74 okay now here 12 is also there okay so 12 is also there so we have to remove the 12 also so we have removed 12 we have removed 13 from this s1 so in this case 1 2 3 4 5 data are there so 5 minus 2 only 3 data is remaining now we can use big vector representation okay now set operation using big vector representation suppose we have a data say s1 say 0 1 1 0 0 0 and we have a data s2 say 1 1 0 1 0 1 Now, size of S1 should be size of S2. Okay, that is the thing. Now, first operation is union. Now, union is what? Union is we have to apply all operation. So, already you know, suppose S is equal to S1 union S2. So, we have to apply operations, all, all, all operation already you know. 0 or 0, it is 0. 0 or 1 it is 1 1 or 0 it is 1 1 or 1 it is 1 say already you know now to identify the union what you can do 0 1 2 3 4 5 say s so 1 or 0 it is 1 1 or 1 it is 1 1 or 0 it is 1 0 or 1 it is 1 0 or 0 it is 0 0 1 or it is 1 ok so that is what union operation next we can perform the intersection operation also so intersection operation in this case we have to apply and operation so already you know the and operation say 0 and 0 and 0 it is 0 0 and 1 it is 0 1 and 1 it is 0 1 and 1 it is 1 okay so if you want to apply implement s is equal to s1 intersect s2 then zero one two three four five. so 0 intersect uh, 0 and 1 it is 0 1 and 1 it is 1 1 and 0 it is 0 0 and 1 it is 0 0 and 0 it is 0 0 and 0 okay so this is our intersection operation next a difference operation now difference operation means s is equal to s1 minus s2 now to perform this one what you can do s1 intersection s2 bar okay suppose uh, so s2 so what you can do if you have identify s2 bar okay so s2 bar means complement of that say 0 1 2 3 4 
so one complement one's complement zero complement of one it is zero complement of zero it is one complement of one it is zero okay complement of zero is one one is zero clear now s is equal to s1 minus s2 means s1 intersection s2 uh, intersection means it is end operation okay it is end operation we have to apply end operation now to have you can check this check 0 so s will be so s will be 0 and 0 it is 0 1 and 0 it is 0 1 and 1 it is 1 0 and 0 it is 0 0 is 1 it is 0 0 is 0 it is 0 okay so that is the answer of s is equal to s1 minus s2 now equality so in equality we have to check whether s1 is subset of s2 or not or s2 is subset of s1 or not now already you know the first is the both the array size is the same so no need to check whether they are they are in uh, same length or not so first uh, they, first of uh, uh, just we have to check the bit by the bit so we have to check bit by bit so what you can do we just apply one for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than the size and i plus plus and if if s1 i is not equal to s2 i then return false means they are not equal okay else else sorry or return true 